Hi uh, guys, this is one of um, those moments where I can make a video. If I have the same problem as users, then I can make a video about it. So this is one of the very old ISOs. Not really. It's one of the ISOs of um, the future, basically. But there have been installed so I did install so many applications. I just took all of the applications on Calamaris and I said install them all, right? So this was a test. Is everything still available for Calamaris? Calamaris if you select it and say I want to have iScan, will it be installed and so on, right? All the software that Calamaris gives you is on this machine. That means <laughs> if you update the system, you get a lot of things. So let's analyze and, and update the system and see what the issue is. There is a lot of changes going on in the QT5, QT6 department and this is what we get. So name changes, ATK5 or ATK, Attica, sorry, to ATK5 or Attica, whatever they want to call it. Anyway, so I keep pressing enter. So to have yes, 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 yes. You see all the case stuff is in here. Lots of case stuff and also QT5 stuff and QT6 stuff. Now, when we say enter, so it's a lot of information. This is really big, right? 16, 17 gigabyte of downloads or, or install size. That's, that's, that's a lot, right? Now, the thing is that because of changes, Pacman says, okay, this package delivers us this file and that package delivers us the same file. Ah, Pacman can't cope with elements that are double so there is if there are two packages then one of them should be in control not two of them are going to install the same file somewhere so that's a no-go and that's what we see here after checking the four or five lines of checking here he's going to try and install it and it gives us errors the solution often i give is well, uninstall, update, and reinstall, right? Couldn't be simpler, but I don't know what's gonna work. So now I can test my own logic here. It says, fail to commit transaction. User bin quantum manager exists already and is owned by quantum QT5 Git. And I wanna install something else and it's gonna be there as well. So take a look at all the names, quantum, quantum, quantum. That's all we read. A lot of conflicts and it's owned by quantum QT5 Git. So there is just the two of them. So what I'll do is sudo pacman minus remove. So first remove and remember the name, of course. I used to write everything down, but no need. Arrow up, you've got it, what you've removed. All right, and it says required by quantum and so on. So there are re uh, requirements, dependencies. And if you say, I'll figure it out later on, you can do a DD saying, please, I'm, it's no problem for me if the quantum team material is not working or the core gear team and so on is not working. I'll, I'll remember later, right? I'll, I'll do it, just remove it and update and see what goes on after this action. So RDD. If you want to know what DD stands for, you do Arch Wiki Pacman and then you read, you control F, RDD, right? It's all explained. Pacman is something you need to know very, very, very good. It's your package manager. So let's see if, if the, the other stuff that's coming in is going to be installed. So we see here a lot of QT stuff, QT till here six, then we go to five, 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 and it's because of these changes and yes it get, could be something totally different that you're facing and it has to be maybe to do with QMU or something other some other package it doesn't really matter reasoning is the same see if you can remove it update it and then see what's going on still a happy system still a uh, efficient system fine otherwise um, you're going to install the package again and see what happens so this is the moment of truth. And we have here something that's still there, owned by Quantum QT6. So the Pacman minus remove. 
all the quantum stuff is now gone. And yep, that's, those are themes, so probably not a problem. So this one needs to go as well. And for the third time, we're going to do an update with all the S's. Yes, 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 yes. Replace. And a check. So yeah, it's a little bit of Sherlock Holmes, so don't um, get discouraged. Keep trying to analyze and say, okay, why is this now not working? So there was one file that uh, was there. It was it's, it's coming in with the update, right? It's coming in but it was already there because of another package to so remove the package remove the conflicting package and then see let's quickly have a look around wine staging is here wireshark so many things are have been installed thunderbird uh, bird thread weaver uh, lots of stuff that's normally not installed in the extra large but because we selected everything in Calamaris, just as a way of tests, do you, as a user, get to install what you selected, basically. So filtering out the errors. Almost there. This looks good. This is okay. <laughs> because we have the Bash RC latest, we changed it to Bash RC. And off it goes. So the conflict is gone. That's the topic of the video, right? I removed everything that conflicted. Then you reboot, right? You test the system out, all good, fine. Not good, then you start looking for the replacement file or the same file with another name or the exact same name, right? It's it's a matter of yeah changes, um, and you have to follow the Arch Linux naming convention. Two six six. Well, we, there's no need to wait, so it will probably just be fine. So as I said, what you do is later on maybe if you say the design is not okay, right? The design is not okay because that's quantum. Then you have a look, what is available today? Two names, three names, Quantum, Quantum QT5, QT6, which do you need? Test that out. And that's up to you. All right, cheers.